Welcome back to another edition of These Nuts. D. These Nuts. Oi. What the week. Let me tell you something. Alright, last time, uh, let's do this real quick. Uh, I showed you garbage picks. We finished up all the, um, the, <laughs> all the skull heads. And a couple people have, uh, uh, texted me or DM'd me and uh, told me that I kept calling the El Gato the Chubracabra. So I apologize sincerely for my mistake. Uh, it was the Coronas talking. Um, so the, the blue skull was the El Gato. The gold skull is the Chubracabra. Um, we we bling those skulls out. We uh, I told you about that uh, friend of mine, my customer that uh, gave me the wood for the river table. That's gonna probably be down the line a little bit, um, even if we get the right piece that we need. Um, and I had a bunch more garbage picks. Went out again the other day. I got nothing. I got nothing. Um. Today, um, we're going to, um, I started the chessboard, <clears throat> um, and you'll see, um, the old chessboard, I was going to go two by two squares, um, the bishops were too big, so I ended up going, and I think I explained that, so this is a little redundant, redundant, how do you spell redundant, what is, I don't know, Alex, um, but uh, I ended up making it uh, three by three, so I had to peel off a whole bunch more uh, tiles for, to set that up. Uh, um, I figured out what I'm going to do with the nuts. We're going to make a D's nut sign out of nuts. I started that, and the Corona beer sign made out of uh, I spelled out Corona on a on a board. That's going to be really cool. That's going to turn out really nice. Somebody's going to pay. Someone's going to pay very handsomely for that. Let me tell you something. Um, so without further ado, let's get to it. Dang it. With these nuts. And away we go. How come I'm always talking out of the side of my mouth? So we are doing a D's nut sign for this guy. Uh, cause I thought that would be cool. And we're gonna do this check, chessboard, chessboard slash checkerboard. And there goes the air conditioning, right on time. Unbelievable. Sorry folks. My shop is really stinky. Alright, so. Um, I laid out my board, I'm gonna cut that. I'm going to put my D's Nuts plaque on that. I got the D's Nuts laid out. And I have the checkerboard laid out. These are the same tiles I used on the uh, center of the coffee table. The mosaic coffee table. Oh, did I show you those? <laughs> Sweet, bruh. Alright, so this is the one going to be for the, the D's nuts. So I'm going to burn this. Oh, yes. Burn it. You must burn it. It gives it so much style and class. Don't you know? Huh. I was hoping for a little more even burn there. You got to burn it. Yeah, just gotta hold it on there a little longer. 
because I, I want the silver to stick out. Uh, I'm going to do the varnish on here. So I want it to be more dark than anything. Than anything. Remember, keep your torch going. Because if you don't, you're going to start a fire. I don't know what that is. Some schmutz. I got some schmutz on the board there. I think that's good. I'm going to do the edges a little bit, even though I'm going to... Um, I'm going to do that... I'm going to do the edging like I did on those other boards. The glue veneer, man. Oh, don't get the flame too close to the camera. All right, there you have it. So now we're going to put that banding on. I sanded it so it's nice and smooth. Not quite sure. Um, Not quite sure what kind of glue I'm going to use to uh, glue those glass tiles down yet. I want to try to find something that's... That's easy breezy cover girl! Bam! It's a beautiful edge. Flip it over and do the other side. You want to kind of make sure that um, you're like even on both sides of this so that if you're, if while you're ironing it slips a little bit, you still got a little bit to trim off. Sure, I got it flat. Bam. Okay. And the other thing, do two sides. You can do two sides at once, but only do these two because if you do all four sides, you won't be able to trim properly. So you take your little bandit, Smokey and the bandit tool. Push it on there, and you get a nice clean edge. Oh, too deep. We'll sand that. No problem. Don't worry about that. That's surprising. There's nothing there. Interesting. Right? Oh my goodness, we have terrible situations. Absolutely terrible situations. Let me show you what, what the problems is. The second terrible situation is look at my these nuts board. I tried to be so cool and like spray it. After I put the polyurethane on and I sprayed it with a clear gloss. It did not work. Oh my goodness. Check it out. We're going to do something. Off grid. I don't know what the hell that means. All right, so um, I've had this wax, and I had this idea of putting bugs in this wax, which has kind of got a yellow tinge to it. 
and when it dries it looks like amber so I garbage picked or actually a friend gave me this rice cooker shout out to Cindy Cindy thanks for the rice cooker it's an awesome wax melter melter smelter smelter Walter um, so what I did was I put it I put a glass I got a glass jar lined it with aluminum foil to get it out easy and then I'm going to take oh careful don't break his legs and then I'm going to take this rhinoceros beetle that I found and I'm going to put it in the wax so I I think he's light enough he shouldn't float so I I think I'm gonna pour the wax in and then fill it halfway and then take him stick him in the wax and then cover him up with more wax let's see how it turns out oh this is gonna be exciting you're gonna be peeing your pantalones all right let's check it out and while we wait for the wax because the wax is just heating up now so while that's going so what I had to do was I I choked the chicken on the the board for the D's nut sign so I don't know I kind of screwed up I spray painted clear varnish over the polyurethane and it didn't um, when I came home yesterday it was like all bubbled up so I smooched the pooch on that one so I had to do another board not too happy with this board the other board looked better but it'll it'll still work so I cleaned my nuts what do you Martha what did he just say did he say he cleaned his nuts um yeah I had to clean the nuts because you know they're oily I uh, believe I'm going to use E6000 glue to glue those down on the board. And then I laid out my Corona sign. I finally got enough Corona. I finally downed enough Corona to, to make the Corona sign. Um, and with the chessboard, because uh, I was going to go uh, two and two, so it was four, four cubes per square but the bishops on either side were too big for the squares so i had to go bigger so let me show you that so here's the corona and i'm gonna have to cut a piece of wood for that and burn it and burn it and then the new the new board is going to be uh three by three each square so then it'll it comes out to about an 18 inch board so now I gotta find or garbage pick something that um, the, a table that I can put that on. Um, and another shout out, shout outs galore, baby! People are gifting the D's nuts, man, left and right. Yo, that's awesome. Um, a woman across the street, um, Diana, she donated a huge picture frame made of oak which I'm going to use for the chess board as a base so that'll be cool and then I also thought with this was the old board for the chess board but I gotta figure out something how to how to mount that on there and do something over here as a frame I think that would look really cool. So we're gonna work on that too. So here's my wax bubbling away. It's melting. There's a lot of air bubbles in there, but hopefully those are gonna come out. Hopefully. All right, so um, this was the old chessboard, and I banded the side. You saw me do that. I painted the the face black I leveled it with the uh, plaster and then I put a nice gloss paint on there that looks killer man now I just gotta I'm trying to figure out how I can I think I might use like brass screws 
just to hold them down in each corner and this is this is going to be the corona sign uh, I tried burning it I thought with it being a veneer it would look really cool burnt but it it looked nasty so I decided no nope, not gonna do it and um, this is the going to be the D's nuts sign put about five coats on there looks sweet this is the wood I've chosen for the frame for the the Corona bottle cap sign I'm gonna do the same thing I did for the coffee table I'm gonna paint these white and then sand them and then I'll go over them lightly with a, a gray to try to make them look old alrighty uh, it's a cold and gray night today in Spring Hill Florida what do you got to say it's raining lighting very bad today lighting light uh, raining I, I'm doing a D's nut sign basically I'm gluing the nuts together first and then I'm gonna glue them to the table to make sure they or the the piece of wood make sure that they're uh, doing good you don't need to see that never mind pay no attention to that stuff behind the mirror and all this time you thought it was wisps of ghosts wisps of ghosts try to say that five times fast I bubbled again bubbling so I'm just taking a, a a hair bit of gorilla glue just barely just barely uh, excuse me excuse the pig while the hogs out walking and then I'm uh, pushing them together and I drag them around a bit <laughs> make sure they don't stick to the countertop and that's all there is to it so uh, we'll, we'll show you what we got when we're done with this alrighty then uh, on the D's nuts sign I'm gonna use the uh, E6000 glue I don't know um, I can't you can't use the crazy glue the when it cures it puts off that white haze and it like flares out everywhere on the board so I with the with the heat in Florida I don't think the hot glue would work I think it would end up falling off so I got this it says it's supposed to be for everything so we'll see how that goes Uh, this E6000 glue is, I guess it's all right, <laughs> but it's, it dries pretty dang fast, so you, you have to be pretty quick. Um, I'm sure I'm doing overkill. I, I don't, I'm trying to cover every nut, but I don't think I really have to. Almost lost it. Uh. 
and you just push it down. So we'll finish this up. When I get done with this, I'm gonna do the banding around here again, and then I'll I'll spray the whole thing with the uh, the gloss. Welcome back to the Nut Ward. Yeah, the Nut Ward with these nuts. Let's recap today's adventure. Uh, we did a chessboard. We're gonna get that going. Uh, I got a frame from a woman across the street. I'm going to cut that down for the base of that, for the frame for that. We f um, we glued the D's nuts. We glued the D's nuts. And for you out there that miss the dark, 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 dark. Um, we la I laid out the uh, Corona sign. You didn't see that. You didn't see that. Um what else you didn't see was um because a lot of this stuff is more redundancy oh he put a issy on the end of that one um i did the the frames for and right on cue there goes the air conditioner sorry about that folks i did the frame for i um the corona sign and the the d's nut sign I'm going to do the D's nut sign. I was going to band it, but I'm going to, uh, I thought it looked better with the burned wood. So I burned the wood. Uh, I sanded it. I burned the wood. I hate sanding. I hate sanding. Sanded it. And then I burned it for the D's nuts. And on the Corona sign, we're going to do um, the, the whitish gray old looking wood type of stuff like we did for the coffee table if you haven't seen the coffee table maybe you should go back a few adventures and check it out i believe it was number five and six seven and eight nine and ten i don't know i don't remember so many times i don't know remember uh what else then uh so yeah we did and we did not um uh, in this adventure we did not get to the uh, paving stones for your garden but we are going to do that hopefully this weekend I'll get out get some concrete and uh, I'm going to show you how to make a nice little pretty I think we'll do two maybe we'll do one with um, with glass and uh, another one with shells 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 and bells Hell's Bells! What? Martha, he's going off on a tangent again! I love pumpkin seeds. <sighs> oh, and um, in that last edition, too, um, we saw the final. <laughs> it should have been at the beginning of this. Uh, we saw the uh, end result of that yellow frame uh, paint pour that we did. That came out pretty cool. I was really uh, impressed with that. And so, like I say, next time we'll, we'll, we'll start that concrete thing. And come on, man. Send me some suggestions. Um, shoot me some dares. Hey, I saw a guy on YouTube doing this stuff. Let me see you do it. How would you do it? With no tools and no experience and no knowledge. Mr. D's Nuts. Um, also, in the last issue, I talked about uh, you guys meeting my alter ego, Dr. Got Rocks. That's going to come up probably in a couple episodes from now. Um, I'm going to sit down with an interview with him and, and find out what he's all about. And we're probably going to use some of his rocks and stuff to do some other projects uh, maybe we'll make some more coasters um, uh, bookends quit eating on camera will you hey don't tell me what to do you don't tell me what to do okay all right peace out everybody uh, may God bre breast you <laughs> may God breast you for those of you that want them, sure, why not? <laughs>
May God bless you. Have an awesome week. And we'll see you again soon. Thanks for joining in and uh, taking part. Please remember to share, like, follow, and all that happy crap. All right. God bless everybody.